Hey everybody, it's Tom and T from Show Me Coasters, and many of you asked us to do a fun park expansion for Worlds of Fun after seeing our fun park expansion for Six Flags St. Louis. Now, this is what we've come up with. Originally, we were going to go with a uh, international plaza very similar to King's Island or like Canada's Wonderland, but instead we decided to go with something that's a little smaller due to the terrain issues that we have at the park. So we're going to choose the Buckingham style fountain that will feed the reflecting pool and the totem pole, since it is at the International Plaza, there'll be 40 of them running uh, on both sides. Of course, it's going to be behind the tree line, but it would have the flags of all the countries in the world. And this will run right into the Americana and the Scandinavia section. So as you can see on the map here, this is going to move International Plaza way out towards the parking lot. This isn't exactly to scale, so kind of bear with us. But the space behind the fountain up to where we get into the Scandinavia section, that'll all be green area like at Kings Island. As you can see here from the parking lot, you can see the, barely see the top of the trees here. That's a big old dip by the front entrance. That's, uh, that area is going to be parcel fill in. Yeah, so as you're going, this is the current path that leads down to the front entrance. As on the left will be the new International Plaza and the section over to the right. right you can see that there's a big old dip there in. yeah so since the park is going to be so much bigger we needed to get a way for people to transport to the back of the park easily and quickly so what we thought of doing is putting in a sky tram it's like a sky lift like a skyway bucket to take you from the international plaza all the way by uh mamba in the africa, africa section, section right by the oceans of thunder so folks, as you come into the park, the road that's going to veer to the right here, that's the path to the Skyway Station. Just imagine that's where you're going. And this is going to be running directly right by the guest services. It's going to run all the way down to the Africa section, right by Mamba. Now that we've finished designing the International Plaza and the Skyway bucket has been added, let's address the rest of the park. So the first section of the park we're going to address is the Scandinavia section. As you may know, this section does not have any roller coaster. So between the, the front entrance all the way to Prowl is a long distance without having a coaster for the public to ride. Yeah, and we decided that we wanted to do something pretty cool in this section to honor the uh, area's rich history with winter sports. So we decided that we were going to give you a coaster called Nor uh, Alpine Blitz. <laughs> so originally we were going to use the the intimate model like Terran and Maverick, but after careful consideration, we're going to use uh, the premier multi-launch coaster like West Coast Racer here that you see, and it's going to be themed to a winter theme. Instead of trees and stuff like in this video, it's going to be ice and you're going to uh, uh, navigate through ice cracks and crevices. And instead of using the race cars like they use at Six Flags Magic Mountain, we'll use snowmobiles or Ski skis or, skis or, or toboggans, something, you know, something very winterish. Uh, and also this coaster will run parallel to the new International Plaza up towards the front. Where you get the tickets. Where you get the tickets at. And this would give the Scandinavia section the coaster that it's always needed, as well as being a great first ride whenever you come into the park, getting you set for a great day of adventure and fun. So now that we're finished with the Scandinavia section, let's take a look at the Orient section. As you can see, the Orient section has only two major rides, Spinning Dragon and Bamboozler. It is too important of an area to be this small. So we will expand on this section. As you can see, the new Orient section is going to be much larger. As you may notice, we also drawn into the tree line up um, behind Patriot in the Ferris wheel. So the new Orient section is going to contain most of the old American section except Timberwolves. A, a big chunk of it. Timberwolves and the OKC. So this is what it's going to look like. Now let's look at what the new Orient section is going to look like. You, uh, you're still going to have the two major ride that when you first enter this section. On the right here is Spinning Dragons and further up is uh, Bamboozler on my left here. So folks don't hate us but we're going to rename a few of the rides that's in the American section here. Uh, on the right here is uh, Patriot. We're going to rename that 
to fit in the orient section. We're gonna call that Phoenix and it's gonna be painted red. Yes, the, the Chinese do believe in mythology of Phoenix, uh, the bird that ri risen from the ashes. So that's gonna be painted red. Yeah, I think what I would do would be paint the supports orange, like a bright orange, and then have the track all red. And our beloved uh, Steel Hawk will become the Flying Tiger, or Sing Tao in Chinese, which Tom does not like. It reminds him of an alcohol company. So as you may know, this park does not have a mine train like most amusement parks do. So we're going to give you one. We're going to name it the Orient Express, Express to pay homage, but it won't be as uh, exhilarating. This is a family ride. Right. And since Aerodynamic is no longer in business, We'll choose uh, what Semperla. Yeah, yeah, they have, they make they all can make mine trains. So yeah. it's gonna be themed to you know archaeological, uh, like it's gonna be pretty like, similar to, to Adventure Express. Express with Angkor Wat from Cambodia or something like that. And the mine train will go where the red square is highlighted there on the uh, screen. And this will take up that section where it's a little more terrainy. There's that ravine that runs down through the center of the of the section. And I think it would look great. Before we design the rest of the parks, let's add the masterpiece. So far, this is what we got. The purple, it's Alpine Blitz. The yellow is the projected path of International Plaza. And the green is Expanded Orient. And the red is... Uh, the rest of uh, the Americana section. The blue marked on the map here will be the new Americana pathway and that'll be the walkway which should be very wide and open and we're hoping to be able to use that for parades and and make this like the real centerpiece for the park. And the black path that's marked here on the map will be the new projected path for the masterpiece of the park, Denali 335. This new roller coaster is going to be massive folks and 335 feet and almost 7,000 feet long. This thing is going to be massive. You're going to be awe when you drive an I-435 and see it parallel the highway as you try to enter the park here. And it's going to be one of the biggest investments. My projected cost for this roller coaster is going to be probably close to $50 million. At 335 feet, this, uh, this ride is going to take your breath away. This is a uh, Leviathan in Canada's Wonderland. It's not quite 335, I think it's 305. But I think you get the picture. It's amazing. You can see so much at that great height way up there. So folks, this is a new projected uh, Americana section that we're working with. And the white line on the map is the new path through the Americana section. So the green rectangle is going to be the new restaurant Nantucket. The blue rectangle is going to be Pierce City. And the orange rectangle is going to be Boo Blast on Boo Hills. So folks, we are now entering the Americana section. This will be a wide open space, kind of like a boardwalk, similar to Coney Mall at Kings Island. And immediately to the right, whenever you turn in, you're going to find the first restaurant we come to, which is be Nantucket's. Now sitting here where Coney Barbecue is, but instead of the Coney Barbecue, we're going to use the Fest House from Kings Island. So this will be an indoor food court here with uh, families and patrons have options of what, what they want to eat. Also in this area, it has a, like a area for concerts and performance that can be utilized year round, especially Halloween and Christmas. And this will also be one of the main supply areas for the different little restaurants and soda stands at the park where people can come and get um, their cups and ice and such refilled or you know restocked. Also toys and stuff to disperse among the park. So directly across from Nantucket is this blue rectangle. That's going to be a, a new section. So in honor of America's rich history, such as uh, Atlantic City, Coney Island, and Maury Pier, we're actually going to give you the boardwalk called Pier City. So the boardwalk section that we're adding here is going to be modeled kind of after the one at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. This will be overlooking the valley where the new uh, the Orient Montreal. Express is going to be running. And will be kind of cool. But also we're going to have a few extra flat rides up in here as well as a few shops and small restaurants as well. So we're going to add two rides here That's uh, that World of Fun doesn't have. The first one we're going to add is the disco ride. 
the like the spin Stanley, the Six Flags St. Louis. We'll call it a Typhoon. And the other one is we're going to add the Mondial Top Scan, like the one here at Canada's Wonderland. This is Shockwave at Canada's Wonderland, and this is a really incredible ride. We'll call it Borealis at the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. And it, it's beautiful. That's why we're going to put it here. Lit yeah, up this to... is really captivating at night when it's lit up. <laughs> and the Ferris wheel will also, the Skyliner will be moved here. It deserves its own space where it's not obstructed by trees. And also, uh, one of the things that we liked about this section here is... It's so picturesque. It's yeah. very picturesque. And also, at the orange square there, we are going to add what every park needs, a fun house. Yeah, you can't have a carnival section without adding a fun house next to it. So this is going to be Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Uh, Cedar Fair has, a, a, I think, three or four of these in their chain. So And they're be, really fun. Yeah, they're interactive dark ride. It's a great ride for the family. And directly across from Pier City next to Nantucket's will be the first coaster that we come to in the Americana section, Yukon Quad. Now this is going to be a, an Intamin multi-launch uh, motorbike coaster. And this will be a great addition as a family coaster here at Worlds of Fun. Uh, it's really great theming and the track length is about 3,000 feet long. And what it doesn't have in height, it makes up for in punch. This is a really fast little coaster. <laughs> Look at this little guy. But this is a great family ride, like Tom said. I mean, it's going to be, you don't have to be tall, but it, it, it is ex exhilarating for what I can see on the video here. It would be a great addition to Worlds of Fun. So this ride is actually called Yukon Quad, but it's in France. Now, the last time I checked, France yeah, didn't have a Yukon. Yukon. So we'll name it the same. It would fit in the American theming here at Worlds of Fun. So now that we've finished with Yukon Quad, the next area that we're going to look at is this yellow shaded area and this will be kind of more like a carnival midway down through here there will be a lot of the regular carnival games that you'll have along here as long as well as a few restaurants and, and gift shops, you know, gift shops shop, and bathroom things like and so we're not going to address it just yeah we're not going to look at this each is just uh, thing, we lead but. uh this section is going to be just leading you to the before we head into the southwest section of the americana section here so folks where the purple dot is, that's going to be our first big thrill ride that we're adding to the Americana section. We chose the Gerslauer Sky Roller here at uh, Canada's Wonderland. This one's only 135 feet, but the model we're going to use is going to be, we're going to move it up to 200 feet to give you vantage point, both sections toward the International Plaza and toward the Orient and the Africa section. And I, I wrote this in Canada's Wonderland, oh my god. This is a control spin. You can flip upside down at 200 feet. It's scary, as you see from the video here. I thought I was going to die. I said, oh my God, please, the restraint. Do not fail me. <laughs> so now that we got off the uh, the Sky Roller, please don't pay attention to the background. This is Six Flags Great Adventure. Um, we're using this clip to show, uh, give you an idea how wide the main walkway is for Americana. Before we are uh, going to veer left here and enter the Old West and the Southwest section of the Americana section. And as we make the turn here heading into the Southwest section, you'll definitely see a difference in the architecture and the theming of the area. It'll start to be more Western, more old time. Old West, yeah. Yeah, Old also, West. Also, you notice the path is a lot narrower now. So as you may know, Missouri can be miserably hot and humid in the summertime. So the red rectangle is going to be the Snake River Outfitters and Cafe. The squiggly blue line is going to be Thunder Canyon, the power splash water coaster we're going to add to this section of the park. Snake River Outfitters and Cafe is a small cafe slash general store that will carry different gifts and sundries as well as offering swimwear for folks to buy for the new water ride across the road. And the new water ride is going to be the Mac Power Splash, which is what you're seeing here. The only difference between the appearance of this and how it will look at Worlds of Fun is this will be themed more to the southwest. Uh, the track will be brown. So, we're, yeah, we're going to create that rustic look of the Wild West brown, and the station would be like a cave or a canyon to uh, bring the Wild West uh, favor, flavor to, the, uh, to this ride here. And this would be a really great addition in that section of the park because just because we're so far, far from the water, water park, park and the 
in the Scandinavia section got, where the log flume You is. can get wet and have a coastal experience at the same time. So the green square is going to be the outdoor performance area. We're going to move that from uh, Scandinavia over here where we will have its own uh, distinct section where it's not crowded into the corner. And the uh, orange circle is going to be the new flat ride, the San Perla Hawk we're going to put in this section. So yeah, the outdoor performance area, that can be used year-round for everything from Halloween to Christmas to during the summer they can have the band concerts and such on there or x games kind of thing like a uh, skateboarding or bicycle trick right. on the ramps and stuff so this will be used utilized readily a, here a lot yeah and of course this uh San Perla hawk is going to be themed to the western theme the tomahawk i got to ride this this uh summer and it has the same experience as the larson looper so the next area we're going to look at is the pink shaded area on the path there. And this isn't really any major rides or anything like that. This is more of an area where there's shops and dining areas. Maybe a few carnival games. Low key area. So as you see folks, we have shade in a few area. The black uh, line is, is the path for Denali 335. We will not address that. But the area right below the... Uh, the pink rectangle or the purple is where the new roller coaster is going to be. This is an S and S access uh, roller coaster that's not built yet. But we're going to call it a, a Acrobat. What's your thought on this stuff? Oh, this is like one of the most exciting coasters that I want to ride. This this one really has me excited for, for new coaster. You, you know what I see here? I know that S and S is the spawn of aerodynamic. This reminds me of the the suspended coaster made by Aerodynamic, the the gondola, like the bat in mm -hmm. uh, Vortex, a little bit, yeah. Wonderland, but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the, the shocks, the, the, the swing, yeah. It allows you to make the complete circuit on the turn, so it's kind of like a cross between a Aero suspended, suspended coaster, coaster and, and a forty free, free spin, spin, only in the other direction. I don't know. I for me, I it, I mean, until they built one, I see. I see the potential a lot of problem with this ride. I wonder if it might not age well. It, it, I wonder if it could be like a uh, Vacoma SLC. I, I don't think it'll be as bad as a Vacoma SLC. Number one, the restraints are different. They're, they actually look like pretty comfortable restraints. And it's not, you know, it's it doesn't look as jerky as an SLC. And across the path on the other side of the purple shaded area is where we're going to add our family ride. And I got to ride this at Six Flags Darien Lake. And I got to say, this is really fun. This is very playful. And it's a... Uh, but what you told me, it's very <laughs> bouncy. Yeah, it's very bouncy. It's not really all that comfortable if you're if you're an adult on that But thing. it's fun to see. But it is fun. The adult uh, become uh, kids again. So uh, this is Moose on the Loose in Darien Lake in New York. Uh, Dollywood has a similar ride. So what we're going to do with this ride is we're going to theme it to Rushmore and, and his friends riding across the, you know, the west in, well, of course, they'd be themed to something like uh, the Northwest, the yeah. Northwest and Mount Rushmore's and all those stuff it, it's a fun and playful ride for us. yeah so yeah it'll have some things from mount rushmore and also the like, yellowstone and the badlands and, and all the stuff like that so it'll be a really it's fun little ride for everybody to enjoy and of course on our version we'll have more than just moose we'll have people. the caribou the bear the wolves maybe even the prairie dog maybe <laughs> yeah distinctly so, northwest section definitely so we hope that you've recovered from rushmore and friends but we're going to move on to the next section of the area. And which, yeah, which is more of the entertainment and live shows area. So the first one we're going to address is this black dot here. Which is will be like a a play off the tilt world except you... We're going to make it whimsical and we're going to theme it to, of course, the cowboys of the West. And you can ride a cow instead of just a regular capsule. This is based off of the Huss ride, the breakdance ride. And we're going to call this ride Stampede. 
And moving south from Stampede at the green rectangle here, this is going to be kind of our arts and crafts area where we'll have demonstrations of like metalworking or candy making, making or quilt making. making. Stuff to, like not to make butter, etc. Yeah. So it'll be you know it'll be themed to frontier times whenever things were more handmade. And across the street with this yellow oval is our live Wild West stunt show honoring the our country's rich history of the uh, the Wild Frontier with Wyatt Earp and Wild Bill Hitchcock and Bill Cody, just to bring the history alive. So folks, last but not least, we're going to install two more rides in this section of the park. The, we've chosen these rides because they... They're act, really... Uh, it's brightly lit at night. Yeah, they will really add some pop to this section of the park. Yeah, as you enter the new section from the uh, plan, Planet Snoopy and the Orient section. So so the first ride is going to be the... Uh, the Zephyr. The Zephyr. <laughs> and that's going to be the red dot on the left side of the path. And we chose this because these are really fun. And and, they're really good family rides. Yeah, it's something for the little ones to do. And it really, as you're entering a new section, it really l lights up the area. And it's beautiful at night. And the second one is T's favorite thing. The Zamperla Giant Discovery. Discovery. This, this, we're going to give you guys the, the tall version, the 175 feet. Instead of uh, being purple and green here, like the on the video, we're going to... Painted all black, call it uh, Black Widow. But this ride too is beautifully lit at night. So folks, now we're getting ready to leave the Southwest Territory of the New Americana section and are heading back into uh, the Orient and the Old KC. Uh, OKC and the um, the Planet Sloopy area of Worlds of Fun here. So folks, we're gonna be heading back down towards the Africa section. We're gonna head towards Mamba and Coasters. And uh, we'll say goodbye to you from there. Folks, remember what we did with Nantucket's? We're going to do the same thing with coasters here. We're going to increase this restaurant to accommodate two, 300 people. Of course, we're going to keep the same theming, you know, the 50s uh, soda fountain. But this will be served as a satellite storage and for employees to come get cups and stuffed toys and ice. To disperse among the Africa and the Scandinavia section and the planet Snoopy and the food choice well we're not gonna go overboard and we're just gonna add maybe pizza and hot wings to but still keep, distinctly keep it the 50s theming here and as you're coming out of here we're gonna address one last thing for the park and that's the Skyway we said we were gonna bring it over into the Africa section and it's gonna drop down right in front of coasters where that current bathroom is and the uh, soda stand for the Africa section that goes down that path towards Boomerang. Well, so folks, that's going to do it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. This is just our dream expansion of what our we Our visionary, do for, what Worlds of Fun could for be. Worlds of Fun. Uh, we're going to take the Skyway back up to the front of the park and we'll say goodbye from there. This is T. This is Tom. And have a good night. Have a great night.